So I hope you, you reciprocated the second fraction. That's the first thing that you do. <coughs> Next thing you do is a whole bunch of factoring. One thing real quick, I want to make sure you see, you saw this. Look at the board here for a second and pause you. On this right here, even though it looks like, well, there's no common factors, what I need you to do with this thing is make the x term positive. You remember doing that? So make that positive. That means you're going to factor out a negative 1 here, and you're going to get instead of 3 minus x, negative 1 times negative 3 plus x, and we're going to rewrite that in just a second. But this is going to allow us to simplify something in the future. Good, I see lots of good factoring today. Next one I'm going to do is this one over here. We have 2x minus 10. Hopefully you factored out 2 from that and you got x plus 5. You got that one. Okay. Hey, these last two, they're clearly diamond problems. we got three terms. Am I going to have to use the factor by grouping that extra step, or can I go directly to the factors? Great, okay, so these are easier ones, right? These are the, the ones that you don't want to waste your time on. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this that well, but I'm going to do a mini diamond problem. Six and five right there. I'm going to do negative seven and 12 right there. With the six and the five, that's going to be five and one. Did you get five and one? With the negative seven and twelve, that tells me I have two negative numbers here. That's going to be negative four and negative three. Did you get negative four and negative three? Yeah. Good. Okay. So here we have our x minus four, x minus three. No factor by grouping. That's great. Here we've got our x plus five. X plus one. Again, no factor by grouping. But you really haven't made it down that far. That's very good. Okay, so we extend our line here. We put our dot and our dot. Now we can start simplifying some things. There's one thing I'm going to do before I do this, and you'll, you'll probably know what I'm talking about here. I'm just going to reorder these things, because right now it doesn't, doesn't look exactly the same to me. So I'm going to erase this. I'm going to put my x minus 3, and now I can simplify. We've got our x minus 3's gone. We've got our x plus 5's gone. Is there anything else that we can do? No, in fact, there's not much left on the numerator, actually. What is left on the numerator for us? So that'll give us negative 2. On the denominator, we have two factors left. We just have to write both of them. Don't distribute it. Don't foil it. That's it. That's as far as we can go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're done with division. How many people feel okay about multiplication and division? Are you starting to see how important factoring is to us? That's basically all we've done for like five sections in a row. Just different applications of factoring. Now, what we we're going to do in the last two minutes, I do want to go over these homework problems. These are from your C point, the first C point four, I believe you did. This one is from the solving, I think, C point one. I just want to make sure that you're seeing the greatest common factor. Look up how this is going to change what we do, especially on these two problems, if you factor your greatest common factor first. So in this problem, we're looking at this, I know a 2 factors out of that. What this does for you when you do this, it's going to factor it completely. Because if you don't do this, and you factor this with a diamond problem with an extra step, which is what you have to do, you're going to have one factor that still has something that can be factored. Okay, that's why if I, if I gave you the, if you said, oh, I did that right, and I circled it, and I crossed something out, that means you got it wrong because it's not factored completely. Right? You have something in there that can still be factored. By the way, what I do on your homework, I circle one problem, I put a check mark if it's right, I'll cross it out if it's wrong, I'll probably circle the part that you need to work on if I have some time. Okay? 
So that's what, what you have on that thing. This would be the diamond problem, but you have to do this step first. You got it. Otherwise, you're not going to have it completely factored. Not just going to be okay with that one. Okay. The next one, these ones are nice. Man, if you do GCF, you don't have to waste your time. So you factor out a 6, it becomes x squared minus x minus 2. That thing factors very easily. That's x and x minus 2 plus 1. You're done. You don't even have to do an extra step. That's just a simple diamond problem off to the side. You with me on that? That saves you a lot of time. This one, this one saves you a ton of time. OMG. I mean, <laughs> crazy tight. If you factor out the 20 here, What is that, 30? This is one of the ones you might have spent a whole long time doing if you tried to do this with the diamond problem with the extra step. That's crazy. You're getting huge numbers. It's ridiculous. You get like 1,200, 12, you get like 12,000. I mean, come on, really? There's got to be a better way to do that. You factor the 20 out, ignore the 20 for a second. Do you see that this is very easy to factor? You just go 20. That's a diamond problem off to the side, negative 11. And 30, you're going to get negative 6 and negative 5. X minus 6. X minus 5, you know. That's all you got to do. This one, I just got to make sure you do one thing on this. When you multiply it by the LCD, which in our case is 36, make sure you first multiply it by the 4. Secondly, make sure you have parentheses around that. A lot of people are forgetting parentheses. Uh, check your math on that problem. It's on C.1 because a lot of people mess that thing up. I, got, I think that's number 30. You've got to have this one right. So show me your parentheses. Show me the rest of the stuff. I'm going to do this on the board. Um, your homework for today, I'm going to start writing on the board again since y'all, I know you can get the website. Uh, I'll do this problem in a second. It'll be on the video. If you want to hang out, it'll be there as well. But your homework is from 7.2. Four forty eight, four forty nine, one to two, five to ten, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen to twenty two, twenty eight to twenty nine, thirty one to thirty six, thirty nine to forty, and forty six. You gotta have that like like a sampler. It's like a like the appetizer trio at Chili's. It's awesome, <laughs> and this tastes just as good. Okay, so go ahead and get that done. That will be due on Wednesday. Um, guys, have a great couple days. I'll see you on Wednesday. Did today make sense for you? Yes. Can we start addition subtraction on Wednesday? Uh, I'm going to finish this thing up. If you want to see this right now, it'll be on the video probably end of tomorrow, okay? You guys have a great day. Make sure you hang out and get your homework, too. The stuff that's going around. This, no, no, this is great. What you need to do from here is now factor this one. Okay, so that's, a, that's the diamond clock project that you got to have that. So notice that we didn't just do it here. We kept going. We should be doing it. Good question. Okay, so you're going to have to Next time that happens, and then I'll give it to you. Um, you can do it now, and then give it to me later. Okay. Okay. But it's going to be today. Okay. Um, I forgot to put my name on it. I still have to be wrong. And I was trying to. I was trying to. I was trying to. Yeah. I know. Is it on the call? The video form, which the homework yeah, I was looking for the homework. I was looking at the video, so I was looking at the video. Oh, okay. That's on my, my website, the one I gave you in class, the sites.google.com. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube is, I, I link all those to my extra site. Okay, okay. So I can give you that. Uh, email me. Okay, so you can do your homework. Turn it to me tomorrow. I can do that. But it was only four songs that were being cast around, right? Yeah. Uh, All right. That sound good? Sounds good. Right. Oh, I actually just take it right now. Yes. Don't worry about it. So let's just do that right here, okay? The top level.